Hello, the Pioneer viewers. We continue to bring you the latest news and developments about the Russia-Ukraine war. As you know, the war continues in all its reality and intensity. The parties continue their mutual attacks. States struggling to increase their gains are striving to achieve their goals. Important actors of international politics are also closely following the war. European countries have started to take measures against Russia's aggressive policy, while at the same time continuing to support the Ukrainian army. The Russian-Ukrainian war has already gone down in history as the biggest war in Europe in recent times. Unmanned aerial vehicles, which were actively used throughout the war, pioneered a radical change in the methods of warfare. The Ukrainian army has become a pioneer in unmanned aerial vehicle technology, the foundations of which were laid in the pre-war period. The technological investments prioritized by the Kiev administration are becoming stronger every day thanks to the work of Ukrainian engineers. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine has been ongoing for more than two years. Surprised by the resistance of the Ukrainian army, the Russian army seems to have suffered major blows, especially when the battle losses are analyzed. As a result of the Ukrainian army's drone strikes, the Russian army has lost many important weapons and facilities. The Ukrainian army has achieved an efficient process by carrying out these effective attacks at low costs. Recently, the Ukrainian army has been carrying out effective attacks against Russian military targets as well as Russian military production facilities. An incredible fact emerged the other day after an operation organized against a facility producing unmanned aerial vehicles for the Russian army. The attack range reached by the Ukrainian army surprised those who heard it. Russian sources and officials made statements expressing uneasiness about the attack range of the Ukrainian army. In addition, Ukrainian troops hit targets belonging to the Russian army the other day. The resulting images showed that the Ukrainian army hit the targets with precision. Now, if you are ready, let's examine the latest developments together. As the pioneer, we continue to report on the Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all your comments on our videos. Please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us in the comments. Let's start if you are ready. The Pioneer Reports The news that emerged after the operation organized by the Ukrainian army in the past days revealed the attack range reached by the Ukrainian army. For the first time in the war launched by Moscow, Ukrainian drones flew nearly 1,200 kilometers to reach targets in the Russian Republic of Tatarstan. A drone strike on Yelabuga and Niznikamsk in Tatarstan reportedly hit an industrial zone producing Iranian-designed Shahid drones, which Moscow has used extensively in the war in Ukraine. According to local media outlets, it was the first time a drone from Ukraine had reached the area and the deepest strike on Russian territory since the start of the war. Russia has been hit by drone strikes since President Vladimir Putin launched his invasion of Ukraine in 2022, with some strikes reaching the capital Moscow. Many strikes by the Ukrainian military have targeted ammunition depots and military warehouses. Ukrainian authorities have rarely claimed responsibility for attacks on Russian territory. This is partly because some of the strikes were organized by rebel Russian troops. Ukrainian military intelligence also conducts its operations in great secrecy. Kyiv now has drones capable of hitting targets more than 1,000 kilometers away. Ukraine's Minister of Digital Transformation Mikhailo Fedorov said in an interview published the other day, the Kyiv authorities have long placed great emphasis on research and development. Ukrainian engineers are being provided with facilities to develop drones and produce new models. The attack range of Ukrainian drones has caused great concern for the Russian authorities. The damage caused to the Russian Navy in Crimea as a result of drone strikes by the Ukrainian military was traumatizing. For this reason, the feeling of Ukrainian influence in the Russian depths frightens the Russian authorities. An independent Russian news outlet, established shortly after the start of the Ukrainian war, published a map showing that the latest drone strikes on Russian territory have expanded the area of the country within Ukraine's firing range to 1.045 million square kilometers. The Russian source cited a drone attack in March on a metallurgical plant belonging to steelmaker Severstal in the city of Chiropovets in Russia's Volodya region. The news source said this was one of the most distant Ukrainian targets attacked on Russian territory since the war began. There is growing concern that Ukraine's attack range is reaching remote areas. It is also well known that the Russian authorities have been unable to prevent Ukrainian attacks. For this reason, some soldiers in the Russian army shared their complaints on social media. 
While there are active days behind the front line, clashes continue on the front lines. Last day, units of the Ukrainian army recorded an important attack against Russian targets. The images recorded instantly by Ukrainian drones were watched by thousands of people on social media in a short time. In the video, which shows that the Ukrainian army reaches the target with great precision in the attacks, the images are recorded by another unmanned aerial vehicle. Unmanned aerial vehicle units of the Ukrainian Army's 3rd Assault Brigade were conducting routine reconnaissance and observation activities. At this time, a quick attack plan was made on the Russian target in the frame. After the Ukrainian drones attacked the target, another important weapon of the Russian army was destroyed. According to the information obtained, the weapon destroyed in the attack is the Russian fire system known as TOS-1A. The Russian army has added a new one to its losses, which have increased in recent days. The Ukrainian army, on the other hand, added a new one to the Russian targets it destroyed. It is observed that the Russian army is running out of resources as the war drags on. For this reason, the Ukrainian army has a great advantage over the Russian army as long as it continues to receive support. What do you think about the attack range reached by Ukrainian drones? Do you think the Ukrainian army has made a significant change in its methods of warfare by using drones? What do you think is the main problem of the Russian army? What do you think about the recent operation of Ukrainian drones? We care about your opinion, please share it with us.